Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, I'm Marguerite. I'm a third year university student at Warwick, but currently I'm on an exchange in Canada. I'm having a great time. Today's video won't be about Canada though. It's about how to be an academic weapon, but still have a social life because I don't want you guys to be only focusing on one and neglecting the other because I believe that life is all about balance. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make content to do with university, whether that's advice videos or vlogs. Sometimes I'll make travel vlogs. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, and just for context, to show that you can trust me, in second year I was balancing my degree, internship applications, and being on the exec for, well technically three societies. And I managed it all, and people who know me, they can testify to that. We don't talk about the outcome of the internship applications, but I managed to balance it all and still maintain a social life, I would argue. Hopefully you can take my word for it. So I'm going to be just giving the tips that I used. Okay, so tip number one, time block. You want to time block your study sessions and you start off by putting in like your lectures and seminars, tutorials, whatever you want to call it, into your calendar. I use my iPhone calendar and then you want to put in your social events, whether that's extracurricular events or hanging out with friends or going clubbing or something. And then you'll find chunks of free time where you can study because I feel like that's more useful than having eight hours of free time after a lecture and before you go to bed to study because I would easily waste those eight hours but if I was given three free consecutive hours to study I would use that so much more efficiently and wisely like, I'd be more focused that time pressure would force me to study diligently instead of being distracted across eight hours of study time you can be strategic about where you put your study sessions if you have to do readings of articles for a seminar a tutorial you don't have to do it a few days before you can do it the night before or you can do it the morning of to save yourself time and free up time to go to social events like readings and you know short quizzes don't have to take a long time so you can do them in an hour that you have free that morning before your seminar or tutorial think about how you can make the most efficient use of your time and that will free up time for you to go to social obligations even if you're waiting for laundry to finish okay you could use that time to study instead of scrolling instagram reels you could be using that time to study just think about all the time that you have in the day and think about when's the best okay. time one tip that really helped me was using social events as my motivation to study i am a firm believer of that you don't have to say no to a social event just because you have an assignment to work on a lot of social events they're in the evening right and i know myself i don't actually study that well in the evening anyway and so why don't i just study during the day i'll like think about the event i have in the evening and try to finish all my studying before then and i'm using that social event as motivation so that i don't end up having to sacrifice my social life for studies because i can have both okay the tip that can help make your studying session as fast as possible and get to get it over and done with so you can go to social event is to put your phone away if you have a study break please like keep it no longer than five minutes ten minutes max because you will get so distracted by that phone and once that study break is over and you go back to doing work it's gonna be hard to like get back into it if you were on your phone for like a long time scrolling instagram reels tiktok replying to messages it adds up what helps is filming yourself studying with time lapses if you ever think oh, i want to like reach for my phone to use it oh you can't because you're doing a time lapse that does help to motivate me to keep studying before you know it i'm done studying and i can go hang out with my friends okay this is kind of a putting the two together how to be an academic weapon and start a social life who said that studying had to be done on your own you can do it with friends so you can maintain a, a mini little social life through studying with your friends and so during study breaks you can like talk to your friends and maintain your friendships that way but then you're still studying that's something that i started doing in second year because in first year i used to study just on my own but i've found it's like it is quite fun studying with friends i never know how useful these videos are for people because these are the tips that i use but i don't know how it translates to the wider world it's final season and i realize people will probably think that they have to relinquish their social life now to study but that doesn't have to be the case there's more to life than just academic i don't want you guys to look back on this time in university and think i could have afforded to live a little 
and make more memories with friends instead of just studying all the time. I'm telling you, that's a big regret that some people have, that they wish they hadn't worked so hard. Albeit people realize that like as they get older, like when they're adults and towards the end of their life. But that's something that you could be realizing now too. And that's something that I've realized. I didn't mean for this video to get so philosophical, but that's my two cents. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful. I will see you in my next video. Bye.